BuzzFeed, which is a failing pile of garbage. A lot of incidents of fake news uh, recently. I think people love to throw the term fake news around Trust to, me, to, I'm aware. to diminish anything of they don't course. like. It's all fake news. This stuff is total garbage, and it's not true. This was a real story about a real document that was really being passed around. It's phony stuff. I haven't quite seen something as totally untrue, totally false, totally provably untrue. It didn't happen. I think this was absolutely the right thing to do. You just heard it. BuzzFeed has already been called a failing pile of garbage by the president-elect. But perhaps BuzzFeed is simply the apex of a much bigger heap of trash, a heap we call the media, to be polite. Does BuzzFeed's decision to publish an unverified anti-Trump dossier show that America's fourth estate is done here? We're joined now by columnist, author, and Fox News contributor Charles Krauthammer. Charles, thanks a lot for joining us. My pleasure. So, to the question, does stuff like this have consequences, here is a clip from the hearing in the Senate yesterday. Rex Tillerson, hoping to be Secretary of State. This is Ed Markey, Senator from Massachusetts, questioning him. Watch. In recent weeks, we have learned about the incredibly disturbing extent to which Russia has sought to weaken our nation from its efforts to undermine the election to yesterday's news that it has compromising personal and financial information about the president-elect. Now, I am sure that I am not alone in saying that I believe that these allegations, if true, demand more and stronger sanctions against Russia. So this stuff gets into the bloodstream and almost instantaneously a United States senator is referring to it at a hearing. Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever heard of a succeeding pile of garbage. So there might have been a bit of redundancy. In the, the fact that Ed Markey says that I think does not mean anything. We had hours and hours of testimony all week. In fact, this is the first the time I heard this quoted. It was so silly that I think it got ignored. And, and, and correctly, this is not news. This is propaganda. We are inventing all these new words, fake news, garbage. This is propaganda. The Europeans have been at this. The Russians have been at this. They're masters of this for hundreds of years before the communist revolution. And they are the world masters at creating false news. It's called propaganda. They do it all the time in Europe. And everybody is used to it. We're not that used to it here yes. because it's reached a new level of boldness uh, to go after the United States. This is sort of a big target. But after eight years of no resistance from the Americans, Putin thought correctly that he can do all this when Obama's around with impunity. And he essentially has the sanctions were late, they were half-hearted, and they're really quite useless. So what we're dealing with is Russian propaganda. The fact is, you can't believe any of this because this is probably a fabrication of the Russian secret services. They make up news all the time. Half their news is not, nothing but disinformation. And I don't know why we're all shocked. What's shocking is that an American news publication would put it out as if it was so, and then say, well, I'll leave it up to you. How are you supposed to know? Well, that's it right there. And I wonder about the effects on the press of moments like this. So we've all been encouraged to think of the New York Times and CNN and indeed even BuzzFeed as serious news outlets. Will we think that five years from now? Well, let's remember the Times did not go with this. The Post, Washington Post did not go with this. Fox News did not go with this. The fact is that for most responsible I think overwhelming, all but one, really, uh, news organizations. If you have nothing to back up what's in the story, you don't go with it. You don't just throw it out there. Because otherwise, you might as well have a complete channel that says Russian propaganda, pick and choose what you want. So BuzzFeed did it. I think it was a terrible mistake, totally indefensible. CNN picked it up sort of secondhand, said there was a briefing about this, did not publish it. But it gave it legs. But I think the fact that the rest of the media have rebelled against this, did not go with it, is encouraging sign. But I have to say, I mean, I've never been bothered by tough questioning of Trump, because I think that's what the press exists to do, is ask people in power to explain right. themselves. But there is a suspension of skepticism, depending upon the political perspective of the person being questioned. I mean, I, I hate to invoke media bias again, but it's more real than it's ever been. And I wonder if they're devaluing their own currency. Will you, anyone believe anything they say? Well, 
Look, I was never a Trump fan, right? particularly during the campaign. And I thought that the coverage of him was so biased, so openly so. You look at the front page, there wasn't a single story that wasn't an indirect editorial on Trump rather than reporting, that it was embarrassing. And that does hurt the press. Now, I must say, that has been true, anti-Republican, anti-GOP presidential coverage for decades. I remember a column I wrote in 2000, simply comparing headlines about Al Gore all in the New York Times, all of which were laudatory, to the headlines on George Bush. Yeah. This was long before he became anathema, I mean, deeply uh, anathema to the American left, even liberals. So this is sort of in their bloodstream. And I take it like the sun rising in the East. You know there's bias, you live with it, and if you complain about it, you're wasting your time. It's not going to change, although it goes to some extreme. But I would say what happened this week, and the fact that you get a senator who calls it news, when it is true Russian propaganda yeah. and disinformation, uh, that's disturbing. Well, you've seen too much. You were hard to shock, Dr. Krauthammer. Well, yes. <laughs> and, and if I were shocked... It might relieve me of my depression, so you never know. <laughs> you never There's know. There's always an upside. Thank you, Charles. Great to see you.